Welcome back to another episode of Dream Tales. And today, so today is May 1st. In five days, or four, depending on how you, you keep counting that, whatever. It will be Cinco de Mayo. So, in anticipation of Cinco de Mayo, we decided, let's look at some Mexican beers. Mm-hmm. Because it's super easy to just make a, a margarita. It, exactly, exactly. Anyone can just make a margarita or whatever and, and, and be like, huh, 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 lol, video, mm-hmm. margarita, make a margarita. In fact, we did it. We already did that. I think we did it last year. I'm pretty sure we did that last year. And we didn't, oh well. Yeah. I mean, how many videos have we done margaritas? Um, a lot. A, a, a couple. We'll probably you'll, we'll probably put some somewhere that you can fine. link to. You, you so guys you, will be fine. Exactly. <laughs> so you guys will be fine. And as a matter of fact, we'll probably do another one for sake of Maya. <laughs> but in all seriousness, today we're looking at uh, Mexican beers. So we went shopping. We went. We were like, we just went looking around. Um, went to Total Wine and More. And peruse the beer section. Ask them if they had any good Mexican beer. Then mm-hmm. we came across three that we thought were very interesting, but we're only gonna go over like two today. Yeah, because we're gonna save the third one because mm-hmm. we got an idea with the third one. Mm-hmm. Um, let's. I mean, the third one is Chihuahua Cerveza. Mm-hmm. Cerveza. However you say that. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a lager brew with lime and salt. Mm-hmm. So automatically that says margarita vibes. We'll put that to the side for later. Because mm-hmm. we're not going to be tasting that one. Mm-hmm. Um, but be on the lookout for it in a future episode or two. Right. Today we are going to be messing with these. Today we're going to be messing with these. So, this first one is a Mexican style lager called Session. Um, let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, I thought there would be more um, literature. Literature. It was literally the last can. Yeah, it's, it was the last one, so I'm gonna take that as this must be delicious because people are drinking it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like the cookie. <laughs> but it's a Mexican style lager. Um, cerveza. Extraordinaria Suprema. So I'm guessing it's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. And the second one that we're going to look at is. Uh, it's called Colomita Cerveza. Uh, it's also a lager. And uh, apparently it's artisanal. It's an artisanal beer. So, I liked the bottle of this one too. Mm-hmm. Makes it look refined. Mm-hmm. So, which one you want to uh, give a shot to first? Let's do this one. Okay. Get this all wiped down before we uh, partake. Smells like beer. That is a beer smell. Mm-hmm. See what we got? Hmm. Actually, this is pretty good. Pretty light. That is like there's a flavor mm-hmm. that I'm picking up and I can't describe what it is. This one does have literature on it, but it's all in Spanish and I'm not gonna butcher the shit out of it. <laughs> it dumb. For all my Spanish speaking viewers, I'm not doing that. Um, but we will put information for where you can find both of these beers, like we always do. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna read this. But uh, if I am getting a, a gist of what we got here, 
Volcan Volcanes de Fuego, Montaña de Agua. So I'm assuming that uh, volcanoes are a big. Uh, this this must be like a. This it says it's artisanal, so it must be like if I had to guess, like it was forged in the mountains of volcanoes. <laughs> Something, something ridiculous like that. It's definitely a sophisticated drink. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I could drink these all day. 4.2 alcohol. 4.2% 4, 4 alcohol by volume. So, you're not getting drunk off of this unless yeah. you drink like 8. Mm -hmm. But, um... Pretty good. Well, this one's 4.5 alcohol by volume. So you're probably not getting drunk off of that either, yeah. but it looks like more of a party drink. Mm -hmm. Looks like you drink this one uh, at games and stuff. But we'll see. We'll taste it and see. It's also a lager, so maybe they taste the same. Mm -hmm. Also a beer smell. I know how much you like to smell stuff, and you've gotten me into it now, so now I do it. Also kind of light, very similar to that. Very, very similar to that. But it's good. So I don't know why I do this to myself, mm -hmm. but every time we go beer shopping, mm -hmm. and because I'm not a beer aficionado or anything like that, there are aficionados to beer. We'll link you to their pages and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, and maybe it's because I like, <laughs> I'm a simple person. Mm -hmm. uh, bright lights and colors and stuff <laughs> that attract me. So I'm thinking, ooh, neat, this is gonna taste like like some kind of flavor. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I knew what we were getting into. And then I drink it and I'm like, mm, it's not bad, but it wasn't what I was expecting. Like, mm -hmm. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking like candy. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds weird, See, that's but... Where, that's where they got you. That's what they but got But that's you. what I associate, you know, I, I associate colors with flavors. But both of them are pretty good. This mm -hmm. one's very light, though, compared to that one. So... And me thinking and our fans out there feel free to correct us and mm -hmm. I'm wrong about this mm -hmm. but if I wanted to make there's a cocktail called a michelada mm -hmm. do you know what that is? I do not okay you know what a bloody mary is right? yes so we start with that, but it's not really that. The Michelada is kind of a Mexican Bloody Mary, but not really mm -hmm. because you like. I would say that tomato juice is the biggest thing it has in common mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. But whereas the Bloody Mary uses vodka. Mm -hmm. You use beer in this, mm -hmm. in the in the Michelada. Mm -hmm. If I had to guess what beer you would use for a Michelada, mm -hmm. well, if you're not a snob, you would use both. Mm -hmm. But because of the way this one tasted, mm -hmm. I would say this one would be more favorable for a Michelada than that one. Mm -hmm. That one is. It's gonna sound weird, but there's a citrus tinge to it. No, no, and no. That, you're not and wrong. that's not and that's not bad at all. As a matter of fact, I like that citrus tinge. It adds to the lightness of that beer. Mm -hmm. But if I'm if I'm going to do a Michelada and since that type of drink allows you to customize the flavors mm -hmm. with the spices that you use. Mm -hmm. I would want to use this one because this has the taste of this one is more centered, as it were. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not gonna be you're not gonna bog down your your combinations with uh, uh, a fancy flavor or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if I was leaning towards a more citrus michelada, I would use this beer. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would think if, if I had to choose based on the taste, I would use this, I would go to this one first. Um, and, and one of the other reasons we, we went looking for Mexican beers and we picked something so different it's because we didn't, you know, whenever whenever people think of Mexican beers, it's Corona and Tecate. We wanted to be Dos Equis. Yeah, and Dos Equis. And we wanted, to, we wanted to go out of the wheelhouse, so to speak. And Modelo is another one that's way too common. Mm -hmm. We wanted something that, you know, that people don't drink every day, that, that we had never seen before, and that a lot of people, maybe even watching the channel, had... Will, will probably have never seen before. Maybe you have seen this one and forgot about it. Mm -hmm. You know, like it happens. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm I'm happy with what we picked up. They were both very good. I, I kind of think they both taste similar. Um, this but this one's a little bit lighter. This is definitely one of those sophisticated type. Of, now, what you can do with this one that I think this one will work great in would be like if you try to do a twisted version of a shandy mm -hmm. a twisted mexican shandy mm -hmm. i think that would be mm -hmm. excellent but i've kind of spoiled what we may be doing with that other beer so stay tuned right but um yeah i liked this and i liked that <laughs> um they were both very good and Considering this is the channel's initial foray into Mexican beers, um, maybe down the line we'll be looking at some more. We'll yeah, see. Um, I would actually like to try to make a michelada because, spoiler alert, I've never had one before. So, me either. You know, maybe that's something that. Do you think it might taste better than a Bloody Mary? So, you don't use beer in a Bloody Mary? But you said it was like a Bloody Mary, did you? Yeah, but you don't use beer in a Bloody Mary. So the reason, I can't believe I gotta explain this again. So the Michelada and the Bloody Mary, the, the biggest thing they have in common is the tomato juice. Okay, so I'll ask again. Mm -hmm. Do you think this will taste better than a Bloody Mary? Oh, that's what you said. I, I thought you said, do you think it will taste better in a Bloody Mary? No. You're asking, <laughs> do you think the Mitch Lotta will taste better, better than the Bloody Mary? Yes. So, probably. I mean, the one time I've had a Bloody Mary before, it wasn't, it didn't, you know. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. Yeah. And, and it may be because of where we, where we bought them at, but. We did, where did we, where did we get them at? I think Hudson Grill. Yeah, the Hudson Grill. So maybe they made time. Wrong, so I'm not fucking with. If Bloody anyone, Mary. if anyone that works at a at a Hudson Grill or owns a Hudson Grill, see this. You guys should know that you guys can't make bloody. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> but that was years ago. Maybe you got some bartenders in there that know what you're doing. So you know, I'm the stupid one, mm -hmm. probably. But I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, I think this may taste better than. A Bloody Mary. The Michelada may taste better than a Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. Based on, just based on the ingredients that I saw. I think beer adds a totally different, well, of course it's going to add a totally different flavor, but it adds an element that I feel elevates a tomato, a tomato juice based drink that you can't get with just vodka. Um, this is gonna sound random, but I love to, like, cook some pork or beef in this beer for some tacos. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think you can do that. It might come out slamming. Just a thought. I think I want tacos for a sake of the mile. But anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content that's coming to the channel. Also check us out on Instagram and check us out on Twitter. And you know the deal.
If there is a beer, wine, liquor, liqueur, spirit of some type, maybe a snack, a dessert, something that goes underappreciated that you feel we could enjoy and review for you guys, and maybe, you know, we can't get access to it in this state or country, hit us up in our DMs, let us know about it. Maybe we can arrange for you to either help us find it or you just send it to us outright. That also goes for locations as well. Breweries, distilleries, restaurants, bars, speakeasies, uh, taco trucks. Mm -hmm. Whatever it may be that you think we might enjoy that's around the world, let us know. And we will make it our, we will put our due diligence in to try to get to those places. Hell, and you know what? We're going to give you a prime opportunity right now. We are going to be in Miami in a couple of weeks. And even though we have some places that we want to try out, maybe we're going to miss something that you need to let us know about. Mm -hmm. if, if you know of any places in, in Miami that you think might be good, that you think we might enjoy, hit us up and let us know. We'll be there in in about a couple of Saturdays from now. A couple of Fridays from now. Mid May. So like the 13th through right. something or whatever. right. We'll, we will we'll be there. We wanna we wanna drink and eat the best things in Miami that we can and, and have the best experience experiences and everything. Exactly. Like you know we were gonna do a rum festival that got pushed to November and who's trying to do a rum festival? In November? Exactly. I'm not I'm not going back until next year. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> like we we are free to do whatever. Mm -hmm. Like. Make us your canvas for activity. Exactly. Please, please let us know. We don't. We don't want to go to Miami, do a bunch of cool stuff, get home, and realize there was this awesome restaurant we should have go to. We know, and we know we got viewers too. We viewers and people on Instagram that follow us. If you're in the Florida area or specifically in the Miami area, let us know. Do we have bartenders in the Miami area that follow us? Let us know so we can test uh, your bartending skills. Make, make us a great drink. Mm -hmm. But that'll do it for this episode, everyone. And until next time, peace.